Hi, I'm uh, Yannick van der Lue from uh, Fika Production, and uh, we made Ship of Fools. What is Ship of Fools? It's a cooperative game uh, that is a roguelike genre. So uh, usually these kind of games are pretty uh, lonely, built for a single player. But uh, here at Fika Production, we like to play with uh, friends. So we made a game that's really built around interacting both players together. So you're on a ship. What are you doing on the ship exactly? Yeah, so are, you are two fools on the ship and you want to... So it's not just a clever name. No, we are fools. <laughs> it's a very dangerous place to be. Uh, the sea is um, being attacked by the darkness and you want to repel it to protect uh, everyone on the archipelago. So talk about how you repel them. I see some cannons and weapons, a little bit resource management, I'm guessing. Yes, uh, that's it. So you've got two cannons and uh, four slots to put them in. So uh, if the enemies are coming from upside, you want to pick the cannons, move them up and shoot enemies up. Then if they go down, you want to move around, pick up stuff and figure out new uh, ammo that you have and use them to destroy it. That's awesome. And the game was made in Unity. What, what did that help? What did that open up for you creatively? Uh, it gave us a lot of uh, great tools um, to use. For example, the net kill for a game object that we use is a very neat way to uh, network the game and make, uh, like, make it easy to uh, use between the two players, have the communication. So like, talk about what some of the challenges are making a roguelite independent game in 2023. Well, um, we, uh, we are a pretty small studio, so just uh, making a game at first was a pretty uh, big task. So we tried to keep it uh, really uh, simple. Have uh, only two players, like not have a server with hundreds of people. Uh, keep it really uh, clo cozy and uh, tight. So uh, keeping the scope in in line with uh, the resources that we have was uh, the big challenge. So I love your, your your art design is really interesting. Talk about these like little fish characters that you've created. Yes, yeah, so uh, it's a funny way how we uh, ended up there. At first, the concept of the games we had the uh, squirrels that were uh, defending <laughs> a tree, but. We, uh, we had our artists make some uh, different uh, art style and try some stuff out, and they ended up liking drawing fishes. <laughs> now they're a bit tired of drawing fishes. <laughs> You're not going to change it again, right? Not, not fish, just squirrels to fish and not something else? You're going to stay with fish? Uh, we'll stick with fish. <laughs> so I know one of the things a lot of developers like about Unity is that they can't see me. It's, it's easy to port your game to other platforms. How does that work for you? Well, the porting uh, wasn't made by us, so um, I can't really talk about it, but the Steam integration was pretty uh, easy to do. Uh, there's tons of people developing games in Unity and making tools for you, so uh, there's a lot of uh, tutorials and whatever you need to to get all the information you have. Getting a bit technical for it, what was something very specific that Unity helped make your game easier to build? Um, one thing that we used a lot was the, the timelines in Unity. So it's a pretty neat tool to uh, order uh, stuff around. So we used it for, um, example, the, uh, the enemies. So we have a bunch of enemies that are hidden and disabled. But with the timeline, you can make them appear at the right time, at the right moment, the right place. So it creates a really easy way to create scenarios, even for people that are not uh, game developers. So uh, our, um, the person that made the encounters is not a developer, he's not a programmer but you could uh, just order the stuff and place it all uh, in a very neat way. Is your game out now across all platforms? Yes, it is. So it's what platforms is it on? On uh, Steam, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, uh, all the good stuff. So where can people go to find more information about your game? Website, Discord, Facebook? Yeah, all, uh, all of these. We have a Discord that's pretty neat. A lot of people are there and we are pretty active here. I'm all, almost all every day there, all uh, answering to people and interacting with everyone.